Welcome to Cunningham Piano. I'm Hugh Sung. And I'm Rich Gallicini. And we're seated in front of this lovely Charles Walter upright piano. Rich, what can you tell me about this lovely piano? Absolutely. So as you know, Hugh, if we go back 40, 50 years, America was really a huge bastion of piano manufacturing. There was a variety of brands, variety of qualities available. That has evaporated for the most part. Mm. However, there are three companies that still build their pianos here in the United States. They're all wonderfully built. Mm. The first is Mason and Hamlin. The second is Steinway. And the third is Charles Walter. Charles Walter is still alive and well and does occasionally go into work, even though he's in his 80s. That's amazing. Wow. Yeah. So this is an American-made piano. And their factory is in Indiana, is that right? Elkhart, Indiana, oh, which happens to be the capital of musical instrument making. Uh, how about that? I didn't yeah. really, in, in this country? Yeah, wind okay. instruments are made sure. there. Selmer is located there. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, wow. The Bach trumpets are made there, a variety of things, all kinds of stuff. That? Yeah, it's wow. kind of cool. Well, let's take a listen to what this Walter sounds like. Absolutely. You know, I think one of the things I really appreciate about this Walter is its clarity. It's a very clear, it's a very sweet piano. It's very bright. Uh, it's a wonderful addition to any home. In addition to that, I just want to talk about the design of this instrument. Yeah. Charles Walter was a scale designer for other companies before he started building his own piano. Okay, so tell us a little bit. I know we've mentioned this in other videos, mm -hmm. and I made a joke out of it before, but what exactly is scale design if folks haven't seen our other videos? Sure. Scale design is how the strings are laid out inside an instrument all of the science behind it, where the bridges are put, how the soundboard is made, the design of the soundboard, how the action meets up with those strings. All of that is scale design. Mm. And each piano manufacturer uh, lends their own perspective on what the perfect tone is, what the perfect touch is. Mm -hmm. Make sense? Yeah, absolutely. And that's what's so interesting about acoustic pianos. Each one is something to explore. They all have their unique voices and characteristics. Absolutely. Yeah. So Charles Walter, in his scale design, he actually designed an instrument that's a bit wider mm. than most instruments. So he's able to fit in a string length in the lower bass ah. that is actually longer than most any other upright this size. That's interesting. So it's kind of cool. It is cool. So for a compact piano, you're getting a richer bass sound. Nice big sound. Yeah, yeah, really, really cool. Well, Rich, thank you so much for explaining a little bit about the Walter piano. And if you have any questions or comments, I'd love to get your feedback on what you thought of this piano. Please be sure to leave them in the comments section below. And be sure to subscribe to our newsletter so that we can keep you informed of our new videos and articles as they come. For Cunningham Piano, I'm Hugh Sung. And I'm Rich Galassini.